My friends and I are going to be spending 100 days underground and seeing what happens in Minecraft. All right, guys, listen up. We need to get started on our very own underground adventure. Stead, are you digging deep? Stead, we're already underground, dude. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I want to get out of here. <laughs> Wow. I mean, I can't blame you, because if one of us farts, ooh, this whole thing's up in smokes. Anyway, uh, first mission. We need to collect 16 stone pebbles. Okay, it's a little bit different crafting here, because most of the stuff you do is with stone until later in the game. And oh. I love rocks. Stead, you, you gave me enough. All right, we got the first quest done. So we get a random reward. I got two ender tanks. That actually sounds really good. Okay, what's next? Make a cobblestone. Um, okay, so we just need to make like a bunch of cobblestone by doing something like that, right? Yeah, there we go go that was how many four we need we need 12 more full cobblestones guys we need to keep getting to work okay There's friends six more oh, nuggets down. pebbles all right six more nuggets you got it Stead, don't go too far down because we're trying to make we need a flattened area you know what i'm saying sand, sand, yeah, sand, sand. Don't go down go out yeah yeah you can be, you can, like stay at this level Stead, that we're at right now it's the perfect level uh, oh hey dwak how's it going dude oh he's such a good boy Should my I... dwak better than your dwak well i just put my you dwak down dwak, i'll kill you i just tamed my dwak Wait, wait, how, what? There we go. We all share the same quests, right? So we can just like throw all of our stuff together. Mm -hmm. Good, good, yeah, good, good, good. Cap, your dwak is probably not tamed. <laughs> My dwak doesn't <laughs> yeah. need to wow, be tamed. Okay. Cap, oh, your dwak just peed. Every, he just, he just graveled, dude. Bruh. Your dwak just graveled everywhere, dude. Come on. Yeah, look at him smile. Why the yeah, laugh? All right. Bro, I got a redstone furnace. So. I just want to put this out there for everybody. You all know that every single person can collect the quest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone make sure you're doing it. I got a redstone yeah, furnace. Yeah. Now, does that mean it emits redstone power or does it take redstone and convert it into electricity? Oh man, that sounds delicious. Okay, a cobblestone chest. I can make one of those. Wait, what about a crafting table? Okay, yeah, we can do that. A crusting table. There you guys go. There's our team crusting table. And I can also make for us our team furnace. I made a furnace. Gosh dang it, how do you make the chest then? Craft a cobblestone uh, chest. It's like a regular chest, but made of cobblestone. That's a lie. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can do this thing in JEI and do furnace or chest, chest, right? Yeah. And then you click on the stone chest and it'll tell you you need stone parts and stone parts are gotten by stone blocks put next oh to each other in a diagonal gosh. pattern and then that makes you a stone chest oh okay well steve did you ever consider that uh you're mean i never considered that no. okay well i'm sorry uh here's two extra stone parts for you oh thank you steve you're the opposite of mean now what do they call that nice is that the word i thought it was grumpy oh yeah that's possible all right oh, my. do we all share the same crusting table because if yeah. so so that is going to get aggravating very quick. All right, this right here, everyone, I, I will put down. Feast your eyes. It's the first cobblestone chest. This is going to be our random rewards chest. So if you get random our rewards, yeah. you take that quest book back. Yo. No, I don't want to. Drome. Instead, you need that. <laughs> yeah. Took, Drome, yeah. huge get. Huge get. What's that? I got a party pickaxe. What does a party pickaxe do? It breaks thing real good. Oh, it do break thing real good. Oh, my gosh, Cap. Here, take for you. Not you only do it break thing real good, right click with it. Right click with the party pickaxe? Okay. Yeah, right click the ground. Cake! Unlimited food! Oh, uh, actually, I think that took a lot of its durability, Steve, to be it honest. Does. Yeah, that took it like do. a few. Why would you have me do that? It took like a few Steve. hundred of it. All right, item I magnet. I was hungry. Now, guys, let's work on making another chest here quick. Um, Actually, I might be able to do that because th that chest I have right there is great and all, but I want that to strictly be our rewards chest. That's like kind of stuff we can just go back to whenever, okay? So there we go. Got that one, and let's just keep adding them up. Remember, guys, get your cobblestone, get your, uh, get your, uh, 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 bubbles. Yes. But wait, when do we make the pickaxe? Oh, pink axes? We could probably make a pink axe soon. Okay. Uh, well, first up, we need to make dirt. Okay, so in order to make dirt, craft a stone hammer and use it on cobblestone to get gravel and then get to dirt. Okay, make a stone hammer, that says. Okay. okay. Um, stone hammer is just cobblestone and two sticks. Oh, wait, how do you get sticks? Can you make rock stick? You can make rock stick. Yep. Good, okay. Who has a lot of cobblestone uh, uh, pebbles and stuff? I got four stone sticks right There's here. Well. Thank you. Thank I've you, I've got kind three sir. cobbler stones. You got three cobbler stones? Yeah. Corn on the cobbler? Good, good. All right, uh, stone rods, check. And now I have a stone hammer. Okay, so how do we just... Now we just smash rock? With, yeah, okay. Now yeah, we just... Smash rock. Smash rock, get smaller rock. Smash rock again, get smaller rock. Smash rock again, and get smaller rock. Yeah. 
That worked! That actually worked! That's how you make rock! Random reward time. Eh, 16 speed upgrades. I feel like that's all super late game stuff, isn't that? Like with machinery? That's when we start to upgrade things and stuff. Okay, let me look up stone crook. Um, okay, that's just four of those. That's easy enough. Also, the hammers are awesome, Cap, because look at that. You just get straight up cobblestone out of them now. Yeah. I got a torch launcher, Jerome. Wait, what is that thing? It's a torch launcher. Oh, that's actually really cool. Yeah. Okay, also, uh, because I'm losing my mind, I'm making my very own private crafting table. Um, so there we go, that no, one's mine. Steve? That's a waste. Well, it's already happened, Steve. Get your own crafting table. Come run, come run, come run. Steve, can't you just get your own crafting table? No, it's a waste. Oh, God. Okay, I got you know the stone what the com stands for, comrade. Community. It's the community crafting table. I'm gonna take this hammer. No, <laughs> oh, I got a torch launcher as well. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so we got all those. What else is there? So after that, we can go up to photosynthesis. Use dirt and saplings to make a tree. A sapling? Oh, oh. Ooh. Oh, I think you can get stuff from breaking dirt as well. Is that how you get saplings? Might be. Okay, let's take a look here. Um, dirt and saplings. Okay, so let me um, search the word sapling. And an oak sapling is made... I don't really know how it, it is made. Okay, if you use a crook on dirt, you can get saplings. So we need to make a crook. I have a crook. Oh, I got a jungle sapling. That's probably the worst Ooh. one we could have had, but still, it's a start. Okay, let's try it again. Cap, good thinking, buddy. Do you actually play this? I think you and Steve have actually played this, right? I played like yeah, once yeah, or yeah. twice. Okay, I played it like once or twice and immediately lost interest. Cap and I actually just recently played it together, so... And by recently, he means several months ago. What, has it been seven months? several months ago? More than three, I think. Really? Where does the time go? Um, out the window. There we go, gravel. Oh, instead, do you uh, want me to move the crusting table for you? Yeah, I moved it, but you picked it up. Yeah, there you go. Kind of figured it gets out of the way. All right, and now let me turn this all into dirt. And then once it's dirt, I need to crook it, okay? And that way we get some more saplings from it. Isn't there a vein miner on this? There is, Cappy! Yar, ar, ar. Very you good. are a genius. You are a genius. Do they all, does, for this quest, do they all have to be the same type of wood, or can I just do like... You could probably do any type, honestly. I don't think... You know, they're gonna be too picky? I don't think it would. I can't imagine why it would be. You I don't put think things it in would. every single crafting table for us. You're what are doing what, what, what? I put something in every crafting table. Steve, why, why dude? Why does it hold it? So that, so that everybody knows that I care about them. I'm giving them items. No, no. <laughs> Is that not how that works? I don't think that's how it works. A tree! When did we get a tree? Oh, well, wait, we're wait. trying to get a tree. Does dancing work? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it, it does. does. All right, everyone, choose one and do dance. And we cried and had a really, really, really bad time. Have a bad time. Uh, having a bad time. Oh, my God. It's actually taking a while. I, I think it might be the height. I think the trees don't have enough room to grow. How high up does it need to go? Yeah, Where did you get these saplings wide from? Enough? I got them from the sapling merchant. Oh, whoa. All right, uh, Steve, you were very right about the space being everything. All right, let's collect up this wood and let's get on our way. There we go, five. Now I'm Whoa, hoping- Crook, it... crook, drum, stop, 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 stop. We need a crook. Wh why? Why? Because you need to get the, the stuff from it. There's worms that they drop and things like that. You need the, the crook. I got really pears, important. saplings. I got a bunch of stuff, dude. Trust me, you, you always crook the leaves first. There you go, Steve, okay? I Thank crooked you. them. Now, you got a whole bunch more now, didn't you? Uh, sure. There we go. Let's keep putting down a bunch <laughs> Bunch of the birch stuff. The birch, because that, that that that's like the last tree we need, okay? The birch, get the birch, get the birch, get the birch. I'm looking at 16 of them. Yes, there we go. Eh. All right, and that should be enough wood. Someone took the wood. Who Steve? I got some, but it wasn't. No, I got it. No, there birch. You go. Thank you. Blech. Got it. All right, so that should be 16 of the wood. We got a random reward for that, and then we can move on to, well, there's a couple of them. We can either do tinkering, or we could do string. I'd rather just do string. Let's, let's focus on that one. Um, but wait, there's more. What's that? I got a cobblestone generator. That's pretty huge, actually. All right, there we go. We have some silkworms going through this, guys, so make sure you leave these all be, okay? Now, we're infesting it with that, and pretty much what's gonna happen is it's gonna spread to all the other leaves. So, we pretty much just play the waiting game, and we're good. All right, guys, there we go, and now the tree is fully done, and we just got loads and loads of string. The reason that's important is because it's gonna allow us to actually go ahead and make for ourselves a sieve at some point. So let's see. The sieve uses a mesh to 
process blocks. Okay, so first things first, how do we make an actual sieve? Okay, so in order to make the sieve... That's easy. It is? Okay. Yeah, so in order to do the sieves, you're gonna need planks, you're gonna need slabs, and you're gonna need sticks. And we have a, all those things. So let me just go ahead. I'll make some of those, some slabs, and some, and some sticks. sticks. And that's pretty much it, right? It's just, yeah, yeah, there's four of them. Okay, and then let me make a mesh here real quick to put in the middle of them. And then we can start seeding stuff. Four meshes. Yes, because we have four of the things, right? Yep, and the sieves work in a two-by-two two pattern. So if you have a two-by-two, a three by three you can use it all at once nice to make like a super one yeah there so we you go. can see four blocks at one time with that that's so sick okay so we got that part down let's claim our reward and what did i get i got climbing gloves wait is this like Ooh, spiders what? guys look yeah those things are epic i actually i'm a spider that's sick all right, we got that. Uh, where? What else should we do now? Oh, man. I feel like we're like actually starting to progress a little bit quicker here. Um, all right, Tinkerer's stuff. Oh, tool station. I hate these so much. Hey, I made a hammer hammer. Oh, a hammer? Like, what? That yeah, is a big hammer. It's a hammer hammer. Is it the Invar hammer? A compressed. No, it's... Cat, that's oh. epic, dude. That is epic, epic. It's uh, a hammer hammer. Ted, come over here for me, buckaroo. Yes, yeah, steadaroo. Uh, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to place all of this cobblestone. Okay. And then you're going to bust it with your hammer. And then you're going to bring that over to me. Sound good? So, would an Invar hammer work? No, you want the actual hammer hammer. The yeah, hammer hammer hammer. hammer. Yeah, the hammer McHammer Hammerson. Okay, tool station done. Which part is like stencil tables next? Okay. There's like so many little parts to this, guys, to get this all started. Once you get like started moving and get to like the mining dimension, though, for instance, in this, things really start to move quickly. Um... So there we go. Stencil is good. Now we switch over to the part builder. All right. And oh, we need a log for that, which luckily I have some, even though I didn't really plan ahead for that. Okay, part builder. And last but not least, there's one final component, the pattern chest, which I don't think is too hard to make, actually. Pattern chesteroo. And that's just a bunch of planks surrounding a pattern. Okay. And boom. Guys, I think I finished that. Uh, qu I did finish that quest up for us. All right. All right. And we can make. Very nice job. I can make an oak crucible probably pretty easily. Um, or actually, maybe not. Because I don't have any oak left. Um, does it have to be oak? It do have to be oak. Okay. Um, that's the only way for us to get water. So we're going to have to make move. Oh my gosh. You are really expanding our base out quick, huh? Yeah, yeah, I got a party hammer, so I wanted to give us a little more space. All right, let me get that gravel. Cap, can I get that super uh, hammer you got? I want to make a bunch. Yeah, I, I heard it a lot, though. So Head come back. There you oh, go. It's oh, got a lot okay. of your ability still. Start doing that with all this co uh, all the, that cobble right there. All right. Does it work super quick, Cap, or is it just that I can do a bunch of these? I think there's a way that you can do, like, multiples with that sort of hammer, right, Steve? Uh, what are we talking about? The hammer hammer. The big the boy hammer. hammer. Uh, no, the octuple one. Um, yeah. I have no clue. I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue. This has got a lot of durability for whenever you vein mine, I guess. Okay, no worries. There we go, bunch of extra dirt there. I need to get an oak sapling then. It's the only sapling we haven't gotten yet, weirdly. Um, wait, can you not repair a stone crook? I guess not. That's kind uh, of annoying. try putting it in there with just some cobblestone. Uh, there we go, Cap. We just got it. We got it. We got it. We got four of them. Four nice. oak smaplings. And now we just Dude. need... Let me just go ahead and... Eh, of course, that broke that. Uh, here we go. Make a new stone crook. And I will take down this tree and replant it with an oak. And then we should be all done with that. Guys, I'm proud of us. We're actually, we're pretty good at this whole stone block thing. Yo. I don't know if you know this or not, Jerome. But what Stead and I are doing over here is we're getting to the iron age. You're dancing? We're getting to iron. Oh, already? Nice, dude. Good work. Very good work. I uh, figured we'd do some of the grindy stuff while you do that stuff. And then I'd explain it to you when you're ready. You know what, Steve? I like that a lot. Okay, O Crucible now. Right there. Okay, O Crucible and... Oh, come on. We we still need more. Fine. We'll go ahead and get some more. Hi, Pet Rock. How you doing? Well, I'm good, Jerry. How are you? Oh, thank you. Dude. <laughs> Sorry, I, I sometimes lose my mind and talk to rocks. Is that okay? Hit it with the hammer, Stead. Oh, geez. That's a lot. Are you sieving to get iron, Steve, I'm guessing? Yeah, so he's he's using the hammer on this, which gives you gravel. And then you take the gravel and you chuck it into the sieve, and that gives you these pieces. Nice. Um, 
these pieces and it gives you iron copper lead and depending on what you do you can you can hammer it again to get different things from like sand and dust and things like that okay makes sense dude um i'm gonna put our oak crucibles down right here so let's be where we collect our water um all right that part's all good and guys, I think overall, job well done for the day. All right, guys, we want to start getting towards the smeltery, which is very important, especially because Steve is getting us to the point where we're going to have a lot of extra iron. So in order to do that, we need to make some clay and then get a hot crucible. So with clay, you need to make for yourself dust. Uh, the way you do that is you just literally take some good old-fashioned cobblestone, you break it on down until you get gravel, you break that down until you get dirt, you break that down until you get sand, you break that down, and then you get dust. It's like literally that easy. Uh, well, I say easy, but that's actually kind of a lot. Anyway, you put the clay into a crucible that's full of water, and you're good to go. And you're probably wondering how to fill that bad boy up with water. Well, you just simply go ahead, you put a bunch of plants in there, and eventually it just uh, digests it all into water. It does take a little bit of time, though, um, but if you're patient, you'll get there. It also helps if you have a bunch of extra crucibles, so I might make another crucible right now. Make more crucibles. Can you help me out here with this, Ted? Can you just help me just dance on these and, and we're gonna make as many yeah. crucibles as we possibly can sound good Gotcha. All right, good man, good man. Ow, there we go. Face. All right, those are going to keep going. The more crucibles we get, the faster we can get this going. I'd rather have like 10 crucibles. 10 of them instead. 20. 30. There we go. Let's 40. Get this work in here. Another oh, crucible. Uh, 40 might be a little excessive, dude. I don't know if you can really. Yeah, that's, don't get don't get too carried away, man. Yeah, man. There we go. Boom, boom. And that is looking very nice. Good. So uh, we have four of them now making water as quick as they can. It does take a little bit of time, but, you know, it's all in a day's work there, Stead Bob, me boy. Is it? I don't know, maybe. That's what they tell me anyway. Okay, we'll break that apart. And Steve, you're working on some iron stuff right now, right? I'm working on getting us the iron pieces, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Um, how do I... Oh, I can just put them in like this. So far, once we smelt this up, it's 32 ingots worth. I think. 32 ingots worth? Really? I have 32 iron ore. Nice, dude. That's actually super epic. So Steve, with all that, should be able to get us into making an iron pickaxe, and eventually we'll get to go to the mining dimension. Um, so let's see here. In order to make clay, you just put that in there, and then how much do we need for a crucible? Because I don't think the crucibles are that much. Um, let's see. Unfired crucibles, a bunch of porcelain clay, which is clay and bone meal. Bone meal, though, you get that from seething dust. Okay, good, good. So, Stead, can you make me a bunch of dust? Um, see hammer. Hammer? Yeah. Yep, hammer cobble to gravel to sand to, you know. Dust, okay. Yep, okay, so four, and then I need to make one more, uh, one more dust into one of those bins, and that'll be all good. Okay, okay. Let me know how you're doing on the dust front, okay? Alright. And boom. If anyone has any extra, like, gravel or anything, let me know as well. That also will help. There we go. Gravel. And then we need you to sieve some of that dust, okay? Okay. So whenever you get the dust, just start sieving. And... Go. Eight of those. Good. Let me help out with this. There you go. 44. Oh, wow, Stead. You're gonna be stacking yeah. with this stuff, dude. I got another 40 on me. Way to go, man. Way to go, way to go, way to go, way to go, way to go. It said sieve the dust. Uh, yep. That is how we're gonna go ahead and get... Oh, my, my hammer broke. I got it. That's how we're gonna go ahead, though, Steve, and get for ourselves the, uh, bone meal, which is needed for porcelain. Um, did you check what the drop percentage was? Probably very low. Um, but... I'm gonna say extremely low. We might need to upgrade these meshes first. Okay. Do you want to upgrade them to the next one up in the quest book is a heavy sieve? Well, no, I mean, like, the actual mesh. So you have, um, string mesh, iron mesh, flint mesh, and diamond mesh. So we could make a flint mesh. Okay. Uh, do, mesh. do you have the... Well, I guess we can get flint pretty easily, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you think I that's have them. It's on me. Okay. Well, let's let's give it a go. Yeah, I need you to stop doing that first. Okay. I just wanted to give it a try. Fine. I actually just got a bone meal, Steve. Unacceptable. You got what? A uh, bone meal out of that, but only one, so not that good. All right. Let me go ahead and mine these up, and then I'll place them back down for you in a second. Okay. Okay. Right after I fix up the meshes. Nice. And oh, we actually have a bunch of extra stone here. I can make myself some more stone hammers. Okay. Here we I'll go. Do one more. Run of, uh, yeah, Stead, I don't think we're ever gonna have a sh like. I don't think we're ever gonna not need that stuff. So, there you go, Jerome. that shut up your chances. Was that Flint in there? 
Yeah, uh, this is uh, flint meshes, yes. Nice. So, so, so far, I got one. There we go. That one gave me a couple extra, so I have four of them. Okay, I still need two more. That's so cool, though, dude. There's so many little things about this mod, isn't there? Yeah, so with the string mesh, you only had a 10% chance. With the flint mesh, you have a 15% chance. Not much better, but it ah, is it's better there. nonetheless. I just randomly... My reward was a cobblestone generator. Perfect. That's so cool. Mine, then, right? Technically, yeah. There we go. It has two in there, three in there. Dude, it actually makes it pretty quickly. All right, instead, how are we looking on dust, buddy? about to do dirt right now. Nice. All right. I'm here with you, buddy. And... Let it rip. I just let it rip on 18 of them. Okay, 22 now. So this will turn it into sand, and then hopefully out of all this, we just get two more bone meal. Like, it's not that much we're looking for, you know? Two more, you say. That's all we need to get an unfired crucible, buddy. There's one. Very nice. Come on. There's two. Got it, got it, got it. And now we can just make an unfired crucible. Wait, I might have miscounted. I think we need one more. We need one more. I miscounted. Oh, no. Keep going. Oh, it, yeah. There, there's 15 dust on the floor right next to you. Nice. Okay, well, we just need one more bone meal. Steve, did you happen to get one in your inventory when you sieved them? Okay, I got one. We're okay. You got one? I got exactly... Th oh, I got three now. Okay, well, let's go and just use... And one our water's one. all ready to go. Yeah. There we go. Unfired crucible is done. And now we just need to fire it. So, put it in a furnace, or, right? I think, yeah. To fire it up. Uh, we had, Yeah, we had a furnace right there. There we go. Why are we using saplings as a... Uh, uh, a cooking source. <laughs> I mean, that, my friend, I cannot answer. Oh, well, it works. Uh, yes. There we go. One crucible down. So we got that part. Random reward. A simple alloy smelter. Jeez. Things are starting to get a little complicated. And there we go. We can start working on a smeltery from here. Nice. All right. The day is finally here. We spent a load of time collecting all sorts of gravel, clay, sand, dust, cobblestone, you name it. We are finally ready to make ourselves a smeltery. Now, in order to get a smeltery going, you need a lot of something called grout, which is gravel sand, and in the middle of that all is clay. So let's go ahead, we'll grab a bunch of the clay, a bunch of the gravel, a bunch of the sand, and let's go run over to one of these things here, and let's see how much grout we can make. So we made, uh, that was four stacks of grout. That seems like a lot. Um, uh, I mean, I'm not complaining. I'll say that much, but, uh, gee willikers, Batman. Okay, there we go. So we can start smelting all that grout down. That's going to take us a very long time. So let's make more furnaces, maybe? Right? I mean, yeah, we're going to need more furnaces for this. More furnaces! More furnaces! We got right. plenty of cobble. Might as well. Yep, I'm making us eight more furnaces. Uh, we could use more wood for a fuel source, um, but we'll get there soon enough. Okay, so that part is going good. Let's put down 64 in there. 32, 32. Oh, jeez, guys, this is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be a bit of a nightmare. We don't have nearly enough fuel for this, so we're gonna need a bunch of people on uh, on wood collecting duty here. Let's let's get moving and grooving. I mean, Jerome. Yeah. I found this. Jerome. Yeah. Is there any chance we can get like an iron bucket? Uh, uh, Steve's master of iron. Yeah, I already have one. What's up? Okay, uh, because go. can't we melt yeah. cobblestone in the crucible There's to get lava? Coal right there next to you. <gasps> you yeah, have that's, coal? I think that's what we're doing, isn't that? Yeah. yeah. You could also use the, a lava bucket as fuel. Yeah, yeah, that's what Cappy was just saying. Um, we can work on that then. That'd be pretty cool. Um, okay, there we go. Well, we're getting a bunch of this stuff. So in order to make a good smelter, we're getting, we should probably keep it nice and small for now. Um, so a smeltery controller, smeltery drain, seared tank. All right, so smeltery controller. Let's see about this. So seared drain. We can start with that one, right? So where is that? Smeltery drain. Easy peasy. So get this part down here. Boom. All right. Now what's next up? What's up next? Uh, smeltery controller. And how do you make one of those? Power of Pine Saw. We'll show you in just a snap. Yeah, Pine Saw makes smeltery. No, it doesn't. Um, we need glass. Actually, I just realized we do need some glass being smelted. So let me get some of this sand here. And actually, we can just kind of replace that up with sand just for now. Okay. So while we're waiting on that, in order to make the uh, the sear tank, we can make a faucet pretty easily, I believe. Right? Yep. One of those. One of us. Casting tables. Two times seared bricks. I only two times seared bricks. I don't know what that's about. By the way, casting table. Good. Hey, 
Jerome, it's baked bricky. It's here twice. Wait, what? Like baked ziti. Oh, I, I need baked bricks, maybe. Would they be uh, good? Jerome, here's some fuel for you so far. Mm, delicious. Oh, thank you, kind sir. We might no. have enough thanks to Stead finding those mystery uh, things that he found. Um, the um, the coal, which I have no idea where that even came from. Uh, that helped us out a lot. It's a Your seer. Guess is as good as mine. I have no clue where I found those. Seared and last but not least, we need to just make two of these bricks here. All right, so that is the smeltery quest done. However, not to be confused with the fact that we definitely are not prepared with a smelter yet. We need a lot more bricks. So where's a good area? Where would you guys like me to set this up? Uh, Come over here, Jerome. We can use this room. That room over there? All right, give me a moment and I will be there. I will be there in a second, Rooney. There we go. Uh, okay. Which room? This one right here? All right. Uh, the one that I'm in. Yep. I'm digging up right now to make it a little taller. Okay, cool. And so we can just go and put down some bricks there. This thing is not going to be an impressive operation. I'm just letting you all know that now. And we can just do two by two, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you... Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it. And we don't even need the corners, right? I think... Or do you? I don't remember. You might uh, need the corners. I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, you Sorry. might need the corners for this. Because yeah. it's a multi-block structure, right? Yeah. I'm going to smell to redrain, and we'll put down this basin below it. I'll keep that off to the side, just in case we decide to do that later. Um, and we can put down a seared tank on that side so we can start making we should start making some lava so the way you make lava everyone while we're waiting on that is you take some cobblestone you bring it over to your crucible you put a torch or something that's a you know a good source underneath it and it'll slowly melt down the cobblestone into lava takes a lot of time but you know once you're done with it you're done with it it's literally a one and done kind of thing um okay and plus you can make it quicker by taking the lava you get and immediately putting that underneath it for a hotter uh source of fuel so pretty cool stuff Okay, let's see. Got more bricks to work with there. And how much did that do? Nice, 19 bricks, good, good. Smeltery controller. And then more bricks all the way around. And this is not the working very good. Not the working very good now. And... Oh, sorry, Jerome, auto jump. No, no worries. I think we're gonna be all set here in a second, guys. Um, it just needs one more layer up and obviously some fuel in there, which will take a little bit of time. But overall, I think the smeltery is gonna be completed very shortly here. All right, let's get some of these going. 35, all right, all right, all right. Yep, that's gonna be enough bricks. That's enough bricks for sure. Okay, and there it is. All right, it's uh, Steve. It's operational for now. Yeah, so I guess we'll just wait it out, make ourselves a bucket with some lava, and uh, we'll be good to go whenever that uh, occurs. Bucket. You already made one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you made an iron one too. I was just gonna make a temporary one. All right, well, time to play the I waiting game. It. Bro, I need your help, man. I gotta What's see up, buddy? all this dirt to get all the Dude, seed. if there's ever a man to eat dirt, it's me. So we're seeding no. this dirt and what happens? We're just hopefully getting, oh, that's a lot of seeds. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a lot yeah, of yeah. seeds. Yeah, <laughs> we're uh, making a farm today, guys. Nice, but what kind of, what are we growing? Farmers whatever the earth gives us in its wonderful bounty. Dude, I know where cans come from. I got canola seeds. Oh, canola seeds. That's how you grow cans? No, I think it's how you grow Spanish cans. Ola cans. <laughs> Ola cans. <laughs> there we go. That's crazy. Oh, coffee. Can we grow coffee? Yo, I've got some coffee seeds too, bro. You want to start a coffee farm up in here? Honestly, the only thing is I don't think it would actually nourishment us. So let's, <laughs> oh, maybe, I got cow. Carrot seeds, how about that? Let me make a hoe real quick for us. There we go, Cappy, I got the, uh, oh, the land's the ready to be tilled. Uh, yep, yep, Stead, there you go. The land's ready to be tilled. I put the water source in there. We're looking good. <laughs> Wait, actually, do we ever make, we actually haven't even built the infinite water source yet. Let me go do that. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Oh. What happened to Stead? He, uh, oh, look. oh, you got his head? Hey. Steadfast, we're like, do you have a stone hoe, by the way, or no? No, we need wood sticks. Yep. To make a stone hole. I gotcha. I can make one of these super duper 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 easy. Um, I can make us a couple of them, actually. All right. Nice. Well, you don't have to join us then, Steve. Only me. I only built three hoes, so you know what? There. Um, one right. for Cappy. Yeah, you know what I right, said after him? One for you Stedzy. You don't get a hoe, Steve. After him? Yeah. Give me my hoe. Give me my hoe, Steve. All right, Cap. Well, we're ready no, when you are, buddy. That. Well, first of all, the source <laughs> yeah, lock is lava. Is that, <laughs> about that water? Is that how you grow stuff? Yeah. See, like, oh look at it. Oh my God, no. Look, it worked. I, I just want to yeah. have a good time. All right, all right, all right. 
lava. We'll get rid of it. We'll get rid of it. Oh, did we... you delete the lava? Why'd you just break the lava? Because we're... <laughs> <laughs> I... Yeah, you could have picked it up, though. We could have used okay. it. It's get... well, you know what? <laughs> Instead, you know what? You get your own lava, okay? Maybe I will. Okay, there we go. And is this room, like, perfect size, more or less, sir? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. It's, uh, it's five spread from every side, and we can adjust it later. So do you care where we grow? I just put down, like, carrots, beetroots. Should I, just put, should I put everything down, more or less? Yeah, just put everything down. I mean, we don't have enough seeds to really pick and choose, you know? Yeah, potatoes! Don't put seeds down yet. Wait, don't put what on? Grass. Oh, how come? Oh, no. Because it'll, it'll grow grass. Yeah. Wow, wait, do the crops grow that quickly? Well, can you... Eh, no, you can't work on them. I have no clue what happened, but... But I did get potatoes. You got potatoes. Carrots should have came up. Yeah, I think some of these things just grow super quick, dude. Um, Cap, just a fair warning. This is not the correct size, apparently. Oh, well, then the outer rim will just be for us to walk on. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was, that was by design, Steve. Cap, yeah, Cap planned this. Yeah. Yep, yep. You got calculated. Yeah. There we go. All right. Well, it's a nice old farm, and I guess we'll just wait it out and uh, hopefully have a lot to, uh, to work with in the future. <laughs> Guys, bones! Bones alert! We got bones! <laughs> <laughs> Don't go near it. Instead, cover your eyes, Ow. buddy. Okay, good. So, guys, this time, we're going to go to the mining dimension. I want to see what's up there. Um, So, let's... You just head straight up, right? You just keep... You don't look back? Yeah. yeah. Trim, do you have your no. climbing glove? Yeah, why? Just dig straight up, and you'll get up there. Oh, okay. Um, just Straight up. Leave us in the dust. You don't need us. I haven't seen my... There it is. Climbing glove. Okay, so I just dig straight up. So, I can just kind of, like, go like this... Oh, I don't even need... I just need it in my hot bar. I don't even need it in my hand. Yeah. Bro, that's crazy. All right, how high up do I have to go for this? Uh, really high. Okay. And also, as soon as you think you're up there, keep going. I'm confused, though. It's called the mining dimension. Isn't that kind of where we are right now? No, we're in the stone dimension. So there's a difference between the stone dimension and the mining no. dimension. No? Okay, then I'm making this up. I don't know. All right, I'm, I'm going to keep I'm on going up there. Up. Is there anything I, I should move. know before I go there? No. You sure? No. Okay, hope I don't die. Um, What should I keep my eyes out for? Like any types of ores, diamonds? Iron, diamond, lapis, redstone, you name it, just grab it. Crimins even? Crimins especially. Okay, oh, then I will keep my eyes crimins. open for crimins. Is that the... way we can make Cappy cry. Oh, we don't want to do that oh, I, though. I thought it was about crime, not crying. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm at like 240. Is this a joke? Am I... <laughs> No, you gotta keep going. There we go, 252. Wait. Told you. I'm here, I think. All I see is diorite everywhere in granite. Jerome, if you were a superhero, that'd be your catchphrase. I'm here, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what just happened? Bro, did I just... Oh, okay. I, I did, it didn't fall down that far. Uh, well, now I'm really glitched, guys. I'm at 253 in your world. Um. Can you keep going up? All right, let me back up. Note to self, don't fall too far down while in the mining dimension. Yeah, that's how you get back. Got it, got it. Okay, well, uh, hey guys, um, your boy just got diamonds? What? Yeah, diamonds? Is that rare? Am I, am I doing this right? Is I mean, this... You're, what dimension are you in? The mining dimension. Oh, yeah, you got diamonds. Uh, Steve, you're scaring me, man. <laughs> What do you mean? You, you're in the... No, I mean, this is great. I... It's just like being in the overworld, normal Minecraft. Okay, is there anything else you need me to get then? Um, as many resources as you can get your hands on. All right, well, I'll keep on working on... Wait, did that say dimensional stone? That totally said something weird. Dimensional shards. Okay. Uh, dimensional stone over a dimensional dimodome. The end, but not really. Wait, how do we reach the end? Mine at the top of the mining dimension. Do I want to go to the end? Bro, do it. Do I do it, guys? <laughs> you won't. I'll tell you what, I'll do that on a different day. I'll do that on a different day. At the very end. Day 100. Day 100, I'll go to the end. But overall, guys, it's pretty good. I'll, uh, I'll bring some of the goodies back with us, and uh, we can celebrate. I'll stay up here for a bit and get some more diamonds. All right. All right, guys, so we've got a bunch of vegetables, obviously. Our farm's looking good. We've done a lot of things with the smelter. We got all the other stuff. Steve, can we have chimkins? I really want chimkins. Yeah, we can. I'm making out an area right now as we speak. All so right. So I'm going to need you guys to, to put down some dirt in here, and then I got dirt? us some grass seeds, and we're going to put some grass down, and then we're going to go catch ourselves some chickens, all right? Okay, I don't have any dirt on me. Stead, do we have any dirt left in the chest over there or no? Uh, maybe? 
Do we have any in the dirt chest, Cap, or no? No. No. Okay. But well, we, we can crush rock to make dirt. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Here, you ready? I so mean, how much dirt you think it's, Steve? Um, 64 dirt, we'll say. Yikes! Okay, well, Here. um... There you go, Steve. Two dirt. Oh, instead, that's not even in the right location. You gotta oh, go down I, one. I've got plenty of cobblestone, Jerome. You do have cobble? How much cobblestone you got? Like multiple stacks. Okay, well, we let's just put down one stack's worth here and let's get to work. Okay, I mine that up. I have 43. 43 gravel. Let's see. That's perfect, Cat. That's 64. Okay. So now we have to just put all this down here. Oh my gosh. Steve, I wish you told us we could have been prepared, buddy. I'm sorry. sorry. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. You're the master of the chimkins. It's not like you can just put down 64 cobble, hit it at one time, and then put that down and hit it one time and be done with it. Steve, do you want the 64 yeah, dirt? I do. I want you to All place right, it right on in here for the chimkins. All right, fine. And I'll put it right on in there Fill for the, the chimkins. Okay. There we go. And how are we going to turn this into grass? I got grass seeds for us. Oh, okay, nice. And why are you expanding it out even more? Also, Steve, this was not 64. Dude, I don't know. You didn't expect me to... You saw me mining it out. Did you really expect me to just have an arbitrary yeah. number? Yes! For you? That, that's yes, it's called multiplication. Mine. I assumed you had an 8x8 eight eight room, Steve. No, I just started mining. <laughs> so do we need to fill all this up? Oh. Yes. Then why'd you expand it and make it worse? Because they need space, Jerome. They're <sighs> chickens. All right, guys, we probably need like another stack of dirt. I got cobblestone to work on in here. Just... Can, can we oh get, my uh, gosh. Can we get a new teammate? Is that allowed? Okay, Stead, how about you figure out how to do the chickens <laughs> on your own? All right. I mean, I don't know Who's anything about Who's putting all the, the cobble pocket. ever? What is going on? To break it. To break it so we can get more gravel, so we can break it and get more dirt. All right, let's Surely put gravel in it. Pretty. All right. Think we're good? Nah, maybe. I don't know. It, there break we Break it. All right, I've all got right. 15 on me. I got 35. I'm just gonna start putting down grass seeds. And this grass will spread as well. How much do you have, Stead, enough? Uh, yeah. Nice! Okay, so now what you're gonna need to do, guess what, I got the seeds ready for us too. Okay, what are, are those chimkin seeds? No, they're normal seeds. Now put two seeds next to each other in a crafting grid. Oh, in a crafting grid, just okay. right next to each other. Okay, chicken bait. Make chicken bait. And we're gonna place that down, all right? Okay. Put it down. Well, I'm making I more chicken bait. Probably. Also <laughs> need some sort of water in here. I did it. I believe. Did you really put it on the one that wasn't grass? Does, does it have to be on grass, Steve? I am unsure, my friend. Well, We'll put it to the test. Okay, so here's the thing. They won't show up if we're all here, so... <laughs> well, we also, also need water. It, water. But mm -hmm. I don't know who has the bucket. Oh, I don't have a bucket. Who's got bucket? Uh, I do not have the bucket. Does anyone have the bucket? Cap, do you have the bucket? Bro, I ain't never touched the bucket in my life. Okay, well then I am gonna make us an unfired clay bucket, and we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way, I guess. There we go. I'll make us a yeah. another one with a clay bucket. I still don't know where that iron bucket went, though. How'd we lose an iron bucket? So much space. I don't know, to be honest. Oh, well, uh, clay bucket. Clay buckets are multi-use as long as you don't use them on lava. So that's fine. Hello! So I put this down, and then what, Steve? Do they just start flocking? I believe so. You, uh... You gotta I, through I, it. I, watch, watch. It should have said something when you placed it down, whether it was good or not. Uh, unable to lure animals. Right-click for more. There's too many baits in this area. Way too suspicious, bro. Okay? Way I too think we have to do it one at a time. I ain't never seen a chicken look up from a bunch of food and be like, hmm, move I don't at trust range. this. It says move at a range. All right, just walk all the way back here. Okay. I don't know how far the range is, but... All right, Cap, let's get all the way back. But I want to touch the chickens. But you can't until we catch one. Also, what are chickens I'm... doing this far underground? Don't worry about it. Oh, they're there! Yeah, 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 there it is! It worked! Chicken! We got ourselves a chicken! All right, right. I, I put down two more. I think you can have up to two at a time. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. You ready? Run, 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 run. This is so cool. Space, give him space. Oh, it did it. It did it. It did it? It did it, it really? Yeah. What? Yeah. We do. We got two chickens now. Oh, my God. Okay, and then from here, Jerome, another thing we can do, because I got more seeds. Breed them. Because I'm the seed man. We can feed them. Yeah. I, 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 I did it, Steve. I did it. They love Apparently each other. Did it wrong. No, don't you see? They both love each other just from a distance. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, there's social distancing, bro. Yeah, Steve, come on. Did you just steal their egg? I sure did. Steve! <laughs> well, Jerome, you, you, you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. You're gonna take the egg now, and you're gonna make what's called a chicken catcher. Oh, no, we can't do that yet. I lied. Oh, so what can I do with the chicken egg? Uh, you're gonna hold on to it, because it's gonna be used for the chicken catcher once we kill uh, kill a chicken. And get, and, get, and get a feather. Wait, we gotta kill one? Uh, eventually, yeah. I don't wanna kill him. You are too close for animals to stay here. Wait, we gotta move. Mobilize. All right, let's go check on it, Steve. Let's go check on it. Let's go check on it. More than two, Jerome. Kill one and get its feather. Ah! Got it. Good. Good. All right, now make the chicken catcher. All right, you got it. Wait a minute. That just... is not the chicken catcher, Jerome. No. The googly eyes. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> Jerome. Jerome. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> you even make the bones noise. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so what can I do now, Steve? I got the feather. Chicken catcher. Chicken catcher. You got it. Chicken catcher. Um, okay, stick egg. Okay, I need to bring it to a crafting table. Stick egg feather. What does a chicken catcher even do? Just catch chickens? It, it catches it, yeah. Okay, and you can, like, move them around or something? Yep. Cool. I'll, I'll explain it once we get there. All right, all right. I don't know where he's going with this. And egg and that. All right, I got a chicken catcher. Now what? Okay, up next, you are going to be making yourself a chicken breeder. A Can you get what we're getting at here? We're going to make a lot of chickens, Jerome. Oh, God, Steve, are we going to multiply chickens? Like We um... are going to multiply chickens. Okay, chicken breeder. Got it. That's planks, hay bales, and seeds. I got seeds. Who's got the... Thank you for the wheat. Um, I need a little bit more wheat, though. Yeah. Uh, why are you so needy, Jerome? I only need six more wheat. That's it. Just six more wheat. Well, I'll tell you what. I can give you eight, and that's about it. That's max. Perfect. Yeah, drop them on in, buddy. Oh, I dropped them on you. There we go. Good. And there we go. Got the chicken breeder and the chicken catcher. Okay, bring it on in here. Chicken yeah. catcher up these chickens. Put them in the breeder, and we'll call it a day. Okay. I have caught them, and then I just put the breeder down. Yep. Okay, there we go. And then you put them in. Um, okay, I did that. I don't know where the other one... Oh, he's right here on the ground. <laughs> I was like... What do you mean you don't know what happened to the other oh. one? Jerome! Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, did that... So you put them like that, and then you put the seeds over there. You see what I did there? Yeah. And it and closes then... the curtain. What? So that just gives us eggs, I guess, or... That'll give us more chickens of the same type. And then you continue to put more and more in there, and they breed faster and faster and faster and faster. And you get more and more chickens, and then you can put them out on the ground and chuck them down, and then you can kill them or take their eggs and make them into different chickens and other things. That is awesome. That's actually really sick. We have an yeah. automated animal farm. Oh, I'll be in here forever now. Okay, bye, Steve. Bye. All right, guys, the big day is here. The final day 100. We're going to the end. Let's all start climbing up. You guys you got, got your climbing gloves? Together. Yeah. All right, you can follow me up here. I already made one pathway up. Or like, I don't even know when that was. It was a while ago. But we got this one here. We're going Days up to the ago. top. Weeks. All right. Yeah. And this should bring you all the way up to 252 to teleport. I don't have one that goes up to the end, though. And I don't know at what level that teleports. Teleports. Probably 252 as well, I'm guessing, right? I, I would assume that it's roughly around the same distance up as the first one. Yeah, makes sense. There we go. 252. We're teleporting up. And I am digging my way up. On the minimap, why does it show lava? Is there lava in this dimension? Yes. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, should I be digging straight up? Wait, why does it show yellow marks? Are there mobs in this dimension? Yes. Oh. Germ, it's just like you're in the overworld. I'm scared, Steve. I don't want to deal with mobs. I don't want this Just at all. Just like the overworld, except you never make it all the way to the surface. It's so sad. I, wait, the end isn't even the surface? I figured it'd be the overworld. No, the end is the end. Oh, so there's literally no way to get to the overworld ever? I don't think so. Oh, that's really sad, actually. I was looking forward to getting to the overworld. All right, guys, we're almost at 252. Hopefully, that's the point where you teleport. Let's see. We and it is. Yes. We're in the end. We did it, guys. We did it. So, wait, is it just like end stone? Wait, is that it? Yeah, we just keep mining up. There's no like actual like end like top. There's no. Yeah, we just keep mining up. Are you serious? So everything is I, like this? I, have, I actually have no clue. We didn't get this far. I think everything is like this. I, I don't think there is a way up, Steve. Jerome, no, we're stuck underground forever. So no matter how high up we go, we're always underground. No. <laughs> uh. Oh, jeez. Remember to hit that like button if you want us to do 200 more days. Wouldn't it be 100 more days, though? 